Hello and welcome to The Saboteur. This is a game I haven't played in quite a long time, but I've had it for a long time, and I beat it completely, like almost 100% it at once on Xbox, way back when. And I played it a bit, a few times here and there since then, but I decided to go back through it, and there is really no other World War II game quite like this. It's a little bit over the top, kind of, I wouldn't say corny, but it's a little just, well, you'll see. But it's a hell of a fun game. It's like a stealthy kind of action sandbox in, like, occupied Paris. And it's a lot of fun. So, start new game on. <laughs> Feckin' heart. Just normal. Uh, normal's fine with me. So here we go. Is this seat taken? I'm not looking for company. You're in Paris, my friend. In this city, no one drinks alone. So, what are we celebrating? <laughs> we aren't. But if you're keen to get your teeth kicked in, I'll be happy to oblige. Mm. I'd have thought you were too busy kicking yourself. With good reason, I'm sure. What's it to you? You think you're the only man in Paris hoping to drown a guilty conscience? This city is filled with men like us. We all have good reasons. I've been watching you these past weeks. I have seen that you have no love for the Nazis. The question is... How many more people will die at the hands of these jackbooted killers while you sit there cowering like a whipped dog? You're mad enough to break that bottle over my head, but you won't lift a finger to help these people, eh? This isn't my country. Oh, did you abandon your conscience at the border? Does the need for justice end at some line drawn on a map? Aye, if it's a map of Ireland. You Frenchmen have unrealistic expectations. Open your eyes! The war is all around us. You can't escape it. You can hide here and leave the fighting to braver men. Or you can walk out that door and do what must be done. The choice is yours! Keep it down. That sort of talk will get us both a bullet in the back of the head. I intend to do more than talk. There is a courtyard around the corner. Meet me there when you are ready to stop hiding. <clears throat> I was thinking maybe a good explanation of this game is kind of like, almost like Grand Theft Auto, but in World War II Paris. That might be a decent way to explain it. But, well, you'll see. <clears throat> the prologue will take a little while before we really get into the uh, how the game goes. And it's only black and white in areas that haven't been liberated. Uh, but we'll get into that later. For now, we gotta get through this part. Ah, I see you're a man who'd rather die on his feet than live on his knees. I'd rather the Krauts did the dying. Excellent. There is a German fuel depot down the street. Five thousand barrels of precious petrol. 
guarded by a handful of half-drunk supply clerks. Sounds like one hell of a fire hazard. My thoughts exactly. We'll need something to get the fireworks started. I know a place where we can get what we need. But first, I must know. Are you prepared to kill if necessary? The way I see it, these Nazi bastards bought their own tickets to hell. I'm just laying out the welcome mat. That's my car there. I'll drive. All right. So, I can do this view, this view, or I like doing this view when you're driving casually. Later Let's on... Let's get moving. Where are we headed? I spotted a German supply cache nearby. I am sure they won't mind if we borrow a few <laughs> things, you know? Have Let you ever handled explosives before? I handled a bombshell once. Turned out she was married. <laughs> this is serious. All right, keep your knickers on. I know what I'm doing. I had a feeling you would. Well, later on when I get to, like, being yeah, chased and Look stuff. at these fucking Nazis everywhere, infesting my beautiful city like cockroaches. They certainly made themselves at home. It's time we showed them a different kind of hospitality. Later on when I'm getting into car chases, I'll be doing mostly third-person driving. But when it's casual-ish like this, I like to do first-person. This part's kind of a prologue to the prologue, so... It usually takes about an hour to get through the uh, intro acts. So I'm not sure how the long these will be by standard, but... The supply cache is down that alley. Let's go. Look at those spineless jackals. I can't stand it anymore. Whoa, steady, mate. Let's just get what we came for. SPC don't fall du mer! Christ, here we go. Whoops! <laughs> I just touched the civilian. <laughs> My bad. What the fuck was all that about? Uh, not now. Let's go. Perk unlocked. The crates are up there, but we need to be careful. This supply cache is a restricted area. Oh, why? Was that you being careful back in the alley? I lost my temper. It won't happen again. See that it doesn't. <laughs> I didn't leave a nice warm bar just to get my head blown off. If we are spotted near the crate, the Germans will attempt to sound the alarm. Then we'll have to get rid of that lookout first. Yes, you should be able to find hand and footholds on the surface of that building. <clears throat> Climb up there and throw that Nazi piece of shit on the roof while I move in on the ground. Can you do that? It's a piece of piss. I do not know this phrase. It means yes. <laughs> yeah, there's like a parkour element to it, I suppose, too. Like ninja climbing up buildings. It's actually pretty sweet. Alright. <clears throat> Throw this fucker off the roof. Get fucked. Help me, Irishman! We cannot allow them to sound the alarm! Try it. Oops. Oh, you're not dead? Get kicked. Now let's see what kind of party favors these crowds brought for us. Break open those crates. Those explosives will do nicely. Just remember to save at least one charge for the fuel depot. Let's get back to the car. <clears throat> I can't believe I knocked that civilian out. <laughs> uh, that was funny. There's quite a few cars in this game. You can How are you feeling, Irishman? Later on. I'm anxious to get the real show started. Ah. Most men would have lost their nerve by now. Tell me, my friend, what were you doing in Ireland before you came to my country? I was a mechanic. Not that it's any of your business. A mechanic, eh? <laughs> well, the resistance could use a good mechanic. I didn't know there was a resistance in Paris. That's about to change. After tonight, the Nazis will have a new enemy to fear. Mm. 
The depot is just up ahead. We'll need to create a diversion to get past that gate. The Nazis are trained to investigate the sound of gunshots or an explosion. Use that to your advantage. Ten pounds of high explosive on that truck should get their attention. Aye, that'll do. Start by climbing that building. Once you're on the roof, keep your head down and wait until the truck explodes. Then, use that telephone wire to cross the street into the fuel depot. While the soldiers are distracted, move in quickly and place a charge on the primary storage tank. I'll meet you by the gate when it's done. Watch your ass, Irishman. <clears throat> okay. So. Do our King Kong deal here. Nothing to see here, just an Irishman climbing the side of a building. Maybe not the best night to be recording commentary, but I felt like playing this. Thing. That's my cue. Time to leg it. Jump towards the air. Okay. I just played the prologue of this last night, about the first hour or so. Still getting reused to the controls, though. <clears throat> sneaky, sneaky through the wide open. Behind it. <clears throat> yeah, you can see the color returns. All right, hide for a minute here. Yesterday, they moved on. Uh, okay, he's going back out. Oh, he's coming back. He's just sitting there. Uh, let's give it a shot here. So sneaky. Ha! We did it! Tonight we changed the course of history, my friend. <laughs> well, all we did is blow up a petrol station. Though I must admit it. That fireball did make a pretty picture. <laughs> you are wrong, Irishman. Something has changed. It is in the air. Can you not feel it? Well, now that you mention it, it is just the beginning. We will push back the darkness, free this. Get some rest, my friend. We will have much to do in the days ahead. Oh, why? If by that you mean a sweet brunette and a glass of whiskey. Enjoy your reward, Irishman. You earned it. <coughs> I owe you a drink. Sorry about the coughing. Trying not to do it. Alright. So we're just about done with the little intro here. And then we go to the other intro, the pre intro. It is.
Ah, bollocks! What's got into you, mate? What the hell are you doing? What's it bloody look like? Your aura is my girl now, Sean. I will not have another man picking up her skirt. Oh, right? for fuck's sake, Jules. You're a driver now. You want respect on the circuit? You gotta stop thinking like a mechanic. All right, I'm put on airs like some posh wanker with a silver spoon up me arse. No thanks, brother. Veronique! Morning, beautiful. I'm coming along for the race. Vittore asked me to take pictures. Couldn't he wait till I'd made myself a little more decent? I don't believe in miracles. Oh, my sister got all the charm. And the brains. That's enough screwing around. We've got a race to win. You boys have work to do. Both of you. Say the word, boss. Let's get our girl on the trailer. I want to be across the border by sundown. All right. Ready to move out? The truck is loaded and ready to roll. And the Aurora? Trust up tighter than a nun's arse. Good. Veronique and I will ride ahead. You boys take the truck and head east to the German border. From there, it's a straight shot to Saarbrücken. I've marked the location on your map. All right. Come on, Sean, get in. Yeah, yeah. Let's see who's person. <clears throat> Ooh. You'd be a famous oh, driver. I forgot it fucks up. I would be right there beside you, reaping the rewards of your success. Which rewards did you have in mind? The women. These German girls are crazy for racers. We have a dozen blonde beauties feeding us grapes, huh? <laughs> Assuming you don't fuck it up, of course. <laughs> well, I appreciate the vote of confidence, Jews. But there's more riding on this race than you getting your hull knocked off. Vittori took a big gamble making me his wheel now. You're not gonna let him down, Sean. I hope not. Vittori's got bigger problems to worry about these days. Like what? Like the fact that the war could break out any minute, huh? Don't you read the papers? Just the sports section. These Nazi bastards are itching for a fight. If they get their wish, we're all gonna be out of a job. <clears throat> well, it's supposed to be 1940, so they would have already they would have already invaded Poland at this point. So I would think the fight would have already been on, buddy. Of course, again, it's not supposed the to be. up ahead. Drive slow and try not to look suspicious. Not right. necessarily. Uh, should have warned me, leader holes. Historically Seriously. accurate. But. Assholes are looking for any excuse to start shooting. I mean, obviously not historically accurate, but I mean, still. Couldn't talk, gents. Not much farther now. I can smell the petrol fumes from here. You just keep your eyes on the track and the pedal to the floor, my friend. You let me worry about the rest. <laughs> you volunteering to be my manager? What's so funny? I didn't have to be a mechanic, you know. I could have done anything. Dude. The teacher used to say to me, Jules, all of these kids are stupid, especially your cousin Javier. But not you, Jules. You are too clever for your own good. I thought Barry ain't got the brains in the family. She likes to think so. What's her beef with me anyway? I can't put a foot right when she's around. Hey, it's not just you. Veronique is tough on men in general. Why's that? One of these days I'll take you to my family's cabaret in Paris, huh? Veronique was raised in the Belle de Nuit. Let's just say it was uh, not your typical upbringing. Sounds like fun. My friend, you have no idea. Right. <clears throat> First round's on me. Wonder if there's a key to uh, turn the hot off. I got it.
I'm glad you finally decided to join us. We took the scenic route. You run into any trouble? Just the usual groupies, looking for autographs. A toast to Team Morini and Our Lady Aurora. To Signor Morini for taking a big chance on a dodgy bloke like me. Another round for me, mates. Easy, Sean. You'll need a clear head tomorrow. Dirker flew in this morning from Berlin. Kurt Dirker? I thought he was retired. Speak of the devil. <laughs> I'm sorry, I gotta laugh a little bit. <clears throat> Guten Abend, Herr Morini. Always a pleasure to welcome one of our Italian friends to the Fatherland. I was just speaking of my admiration for General Mussolini. A kindred spirit to our own Führer. Your country is fortunate to have such a leader, yeah? Racing is my passion. I find little time for politics. Sometimes racing is politics. No. There is a difference. You must forgive my ignorance, Herr Morini. We Germans are a simple people. Perhaps you would enlighten us further? One's a hobby for rich assholes who can't get laid without a flashy car and a silly uniform. The other is racing. This must be that British mechanic who thinks he's a driver. I'm fucking Irish. <laughs> it's getting late. Why don't we call it a night? The night is young, Fräulein. Stay. Dine with me. I've no taste for German cuisine. Not yet, perhaps. But soon, the women of your country will learn to savor the taste of a purebred German bratwurst. Bastard! All right. Let's get my crazy Fair sister price. out of here before she gets herself killed. I am not going anywhere. Enough! I'm taking her upstairs. The fist fighting is a little wonky, but it is fun. I don't think you can hear me. Salute that, you fucking knob jockey! This dog needs a good beating. The barman's talking to the police. The fuck he is. You boy, get out of here! Jules, time to get scarce. Right behind you! <clears throat> oh no, we've got three stars. Alex, go with me. Bollocks. Bollocks indeed. Watch it, you bloody... Fuck me, Skyler. Oh, are you chatting me up? Hello, Sean. Hi, Jules. Nailed. We'll catch up later. Right now, we need to borrow your car. Well, so much for awkward small talk. Drive the fucking car! Hold on to your arses. Vroom, vroom. Just like old times, eh, Skyler? Never a dull moment. <coughs> How long have you been in town? Um, mm, just got in, actually. Go. I see you wasted no time running afoul of the local police. Oh, those fellas behind us, they're just having a laugh. Is this desperado routine meant to be a turn on? Uh -huh. Is it working? Will you watch the fucking road, please? <laughs> The radio ahead to set up roadblocks. Double back and you should be able to slip through the net. They teach you that in your posh English school. Oh, benefits of a higher education. Are all English girls as crazy as you are? Give us a bit of privacy, would you, Jews? Oh, I'd love to do as soon as you check these crowds. Shit, of course we can't go through the wooden sign. That would be asinine. <laughs> I probably shouldn't have got on the racetrack. Maybe it'll work. Well, no, that lose. was fun. Anyone fancy a nightcap? <sighs> Brilliant. I'm parched. Uh, fuck this. I'm not going to be the third wheel. Take me back to the hotel. <laughs> Watch out. There are some pretty cool cars in this game. 
Later I'll have like a safe house and stuff, be able to collect them all. Including tanks and APCs and stuff like that. Or, I don't even know if you can say what they call the APCs, but whatever. I'm going to bed. Keep the noise down, eh? I need some fucking rest. Come on up. I'll sneak you in the back door. Wouldn't have it any other way. Giggity. Nothing like a brisk evening drive to quicken the blood. Except perhaps a single malt McGarren, aged 30 years. Must be Christmas. Lucky for Jews and me, you came sliding down the chimney when you did. Christmas, is it? Oh, I'm afraid I've been a bad girl. Aye, I'm certain of it. Whatever happened after that weekend in Monaco? You never rang me up. You never gave me your number? Oh, that's hardly an excuse. You're not still pining for Jules's little sister, are you? She's a bit of a bore, don't you think? I don't think I'm her type. So, you in town for the race? What can I say? I have a weakness for men in fast cars. I've been all over Europe following the circuit. Mum and Dad are mortified, of course. Beats working for a living. I wouldn't know. What's this for? Shaving your legs? A girl should always carry protection. One day you'll have to tell me how you came by these scars. We've done enough talking for one night. All right. Where's the Duchess of York? <sighs> Don't know. She was gone when I woke up. To be honest, I feel a bit used. Oh, my heart bleeds for you. <laughs> Come on, let's get to the track. All right. You're just stealing cars. You know, let's steal a car. Fuck it. Up in yours. Cool old cars, man. That's one thing I really loved about the Mafia games. All right. Mafia 2, I suppose. I haven't played the new one, but it's set in like the 40s, 50s. Love cars from the 50s. <laughs> I'll be doing first person driving probably more when I'm on my own, because it kind of screws with the. Uh, I want that. Kind of screws with the dialogue for some whatever reason. This is your moment, Sean. Remember what I taught you. I trained you to win. Watch your ass out there. These Nazi bastards are out for blood. Drivers to starting positions. <laughs> I'll see you at the victory party. All right. So in this race, I don't actually have to finish. All I have to do here, I think, is get ahead of the uh, guy in the lead. So we'll see. Stereotypical arch nemesis. Gentlemen, prepare to race. All right. And they're off. The 1940s are broken. Grand Prix is underway. That's the way, sweetheart. 
Let's show them how pretty your backside looks. Oh, I'm coming for you, Joker. All oh, fucking right! Let's show these crop bastards how we do things at Belfast. So, oh. Germany's Kurt Dirker, driving the silver dart for Team Doppelsee. No, Sean. I forbid did it. Did you not see what that bastard did? The race was mine, Vittori. Don't go looking for trouble. It finds us all soon enough. It's time we went home. I'll see you to the Aurora. Wait for me at the pit. What's that? That is where the silver dart would be on display after tomorrow's ceremony. What ceremony? In honor of Joker's victory, the latest triumph of the Aryan race. Oh, bollocks. It'd be a damn shame if something were to happen to Dirker's car before the big shindig. You mean some kind of freak accident? Oh, that would be terrible. Aye, tragic. Who's up for a little Sunday drive? <laughs> I'm game. Where are you two going? Vittori told you to wait here. Uh, we won't be long. Jules, don't be a fool. If you want to get yourself killed, I can't stop you. But leave my family out of it. Jules is his own man. If I may chime in. It's not polite to eavesdrop. Didn't they teach you that in boarding school? Quite the opposite, actually. <laughs> Perhaps you were too busy screwing your teachers to notice. <laughs> Please, we can't all die virgins. Brother, let's go, Jules. You're making mistakes, Sean. <laughs> when did you become the voice of prudence? Dirke isn't who you think he is. Oh, he's not a motherless arse face, not jockey. <laughs> he's dangerous, Sean. Let it go. Thanks for the tip. We'll see you girls later. Motherless arse face, knob jockey. 
Here comes our boy. Let's find out what he's up to. <clears throat> this is a problem when I play games when I haven't had enough sleep. Everything's funny. Don't get too close. You don't want to spook him. And back up him. But don't let him out of your sight. I know this isn't the this. first time I've run a tail, you know. I was gonna say. In this game, it's about yeah, six to eight car lengths. Besides, you have this convenient little paranoia meter that I just shot up to the top. You're going to lose him! Become common practice later in this game, tailing people. There is quite a bit of just, you know, straight up shooting and battles happening, but there's a lot of also stealth and sneaking around, climbing rooftops, sabotaging the stuff. If you hadn't noticed by the name of the game. Like he's headed out of town. There's Assholes. only one place he could be going. The Double Sig Motor Works. That place is going to be crawling with crowds. This scheme of ours could get tricky. I've heard rumors about that place. Some people say they're making more than cars out there. The head of Double Sig has powerful friends in Berlin. Aye, Karl Eckhart. I saw him at the race with that banshee bodyguard of his. Franziska. She's one cold bitch. That's the motor works up ahead. Let's stash the car and take a closer look. Over there on the left. We don't want him to see us. A little exercise. I didn't come all the way out here for the view. Pretty rude of us to drop in without an invitation. I'm French. I'm supposed to be rude. Come on, let's get over that wall. Looks like a good place to climb over. Oh, fuck! You all right? Yeah. Get over here. How did you learn to climb like that? Creeping out of bedroom windows at three o'clock in the morning. <laughs> There's no way I'm letting you dead, my sister. Nice place. They should have a great view of the lake from up here. There it is. What do you say we take it for a little <clears throat> test drive? Right over that cliff. You can do the honors. I prefer to watch. Worst guards ever over there. Keep quiet. If the alarm goes off, we are screwed. Convenient jump into the lake. <laughs> when I did this yesterday, I I bailed out too late. Rolled off the hill into the lake. Bail out now! Like I oh, almost did again. Looks like I need to work on my parallel parking. Maybe we should leave a note, eh? Dear Wanker, sorry about the bang up. Send the bill to me ours. <laughs> <laughs> oh, give me right arm to see the look on that tosser's face. That can be arranged, Herr Devlin. Shite. Shite indeed. Cannot hear you at the moment. I'm afraid the pain was more than he could bear. Francisca tells me you have been eager to see the look on my face. I hope you are not disappointed. What the fuck is going on here? Do you believe I spend every waking minute behind the wheel of a race car? <laughs> I have other, more practical talents. 
this witch to serve the Reich, my services are in great demand of late. Why are you doing this? I'm a patriot. You're a fucking animal. We are all animals beneath the skin. My godfather taught me that. He was a butcher, did you know? He taught me that the flesh holds no secrets. Once the skin has been removed. I had a long talk with your friend. He sang like a bird. But he could not tell me what I most want to know. And what is that? Bishop is not half as clever as he thinks he is. He imagines that we are all blind to his childish schemes. Typical British arrogance. Who the fuck is Bishop? Maybe you should be talking to him. Do not insult my intelligence. We know that you are a British agent. We know that you were sent here to conduct surveillance on this facility. What? You think I'm working for the damn Brits? You must be out of your bloody head. Enough. You will tell me every operational detail of your mission. You will tell me. One way or another. Pull your head out of your arse, man. I've got no idea what you're talking about. Your choice is simple. You may choose to tell me exactly what I want to know, freely and without omission. In which case, you and your friend will return to France to live out the rest of your lives in peace. So, Or you may refuse. How are you there? I'm right beside you, Jules. In which case, neither of you will ever leave this room. Make your choice. Now. <clears throat> Go fuck yourself! No! <clears throat> you fucking bastard! Guards a prisoner. The interrogation will continue when I return. Now it's on. Very talented. Before this is over, they're gonna wish it hard. All right, time to kill. Lovely. <clears throat> I think E knocks him out, Z kills him. So it's all Z for me. <clears throat> A Kruger pistol. That's better. Right. <clears throat> Kruger. I'm gonna see here. <coughs> Just a crazy Irishman climbing a sign. Oh, I didn't mean to stand up. Down.
Neuigkeiten von vorne, Sir Edmund. Der Truppenaufmarsch ist fast beendet. Wir sollten in Querzer gehen, Herr da oben. Ich brauche eine Zigarette. Ja, ich auch. Ich habe keine Lips. mehr. Wrong key. Dann hol welche. Pick Jetzt. it up. Oder du kannst eine Vocal Latrine in Dienst haben. I can't pick it up now. Du kannst wirklich <coughs> sein, Bauer. Goddammit. Ja, ich fühle mich schrecklich. Mach schnell. Uh, I'm not sure why I didn't let me pick that gun up. Oh, hey. Uh. So much. Alright. Well, so much for the Sturm Gewehr. MP40 is fun. Gunslinger. Not as accurate as the STG-44, or whatever they call it on here. But I do get to carry more ammo. Oh shit, get fucked up. There's one, MP-44. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> really got irritated. Lungs or something tonight. Uh, give me that. Give me that. There we go. Oh no, ammo's the same, I guess. Yeah, it's a market. all over. Get run over. <coughs> GTA. What the fuck? Oh, damn it. <laughs> My bad. Ah, no, whoa. Oh, not tank, not tank, not tank. Let's see here. never actually had this game freeze on me before. I'll be right back. Okay. Let's try that again. Hey, I didn't freeze. That's really weird. I played for a while yesterday. I didn't have any problems. <laughs> Something so sad is happening. All these soldiers can't be after me. Something's going down. Something big. Don't say. Oh dear. Oh, sorry, uh. It's an invasion sorry. force. God help us all. Those bastards started a war. See nothing. Yeah. Shit. 
It's awesome. Ah, the red stuff's supposed to stay on the inside. All right. Looks like I lost my stars. You Italian pig! I didn't tell you to get up. All right, let me at him. <clears throat> let me at him. Let me at him. No. Uh, you pull out your fucking gun! Holy shit! What just happened? Oh, I'm getting fucked. Heal, heal, heal. Jeez, that was close. Sean! <coughs> Veronique! Where is she? Through that door. <laughs> Hurry! I'm on it, boss. Zen Fräulein. Thank God you're unharmed, child. Thanks, Sean. They would have burned me alive. These men were Gestapo. What are they doing here? Dierker sent them. Dierker? Oh my God. Where is my brother? Where is Jules? No! Get away from me! This is your fault! You took him to that place! Jules! Uh... <clears throat> we can't stay here. More Germans will come looking for these. Interesting sound, Where will bud? we go? West. It's our only chance. Right. To Paris, then. We'll get you home. Let's go. Never I thought my sound went out there for a minute. <clears throat> God, pardon me. Cough and cough. Veronique! Oh, my child! Merci Dieu! We heard on the radio. The fighting at the border, we were so worried. I see you brought guests. These are Jules' friends, Jean and Vittore. They need a place to stay for a while, someplace discreet. Well, but uh, where is Jules? Did he not come with you? Mama, uh, something terrible has happened. <sighs> Madame Rousseau. No. No, this can't be happening. Your son. He was like a brother to me. No, no, no. <laughs> Captain Wayland Grief. <laughs> Young man. I must know. My son. Didi. Was it quick? I. Quick and painless. Bastard the killer won't be so lucky. I took this from the farm. He would want you to have it.
Back to where we left off. Alright, so <clears throat> I'm thinking this is uh, where I'm going to cut this part since uh, we're out of the prologue finally onto Act 1. So, uh, good point to save, call it quits, and I'll see you guys on the next one. So, take it easy.